Using Toolbox software, we're connected to the Dali network. We've named the network and named three groups, and have identified and named the devices. And we've put the lighting interface devices into groups. For some rooms, the default lighting scenes, that's scene 1 as 100%, scene 2 as 75%, scene 3 as 50%, and scene 4 as 25%, might be what you need. But it's easy to adjust these scene levels. With the Dali devices logically named and in groups, it's easy to see which settings we need to adjust in Toolbox. What we're going to do is set up a lighting scene that can be used in the meeting room when someone's giving a presentation. The ceiling lights near the screen are off or very low, but at the other end of the table, the lights are on at 15%. The portrait lighting is still on low, so that the company founder is still just visible, and the board lights are off. To set up this scene in Toolbox, it's easy to adjust the levels of the LEDs which we've named. Ceiling LEDs 1, 2, 5 and 6 can go to 15%. We'll set LEDs 3 and 7 to 5%. And LED drivers 4 and 8 go to off, 0%. We'll set the portrait lights, or the artwork lights, to 5%. And we'll turn the board lights off, 0%. When you're happy with these levels, and don't forget the toolbox makes it very easy to adjust them slightly to exactly how you want them, then we'll store them as a lighting scene. To store these levels as a lighting scene, select the network name in the groups layout, right click and store as scene 3. To check that the values are stored, you can press the real buttons on the walls in the room, on the button panels, or double click on the button panel in toolbox to show this virtual panel or mimic. You can then use the mouse to press the buttons from within toolbox. That's scene 2. And now we've recalled scene 3, which we've just set up and stored. Now we can set up scene 2 for when there's a meeting in progress and people are sitting at the table with the projector screen up. We'll set all the ceiling LEDs to 80% and the portrait lights to 30% and the lights above the whiteboard are at 40%. As the devices are named clearly, it's easy to adjust the correct lights from within toolbox. And now we'll store these settings as scene 2 and test that the buttons recall the newly set scenes. The next steps will be to integrate the sensors into the system, perhaps to switch the lights on automatically when someone walks in, or to turn the lights off when nobody has been in the room for a while. We've set up a system that lets people press one button for when they're holding a normal meeting and another button for when the presentation screen's being used. The lights can still be adjusted up and down using the up and down buttons on the button panels. The DigiDim Dali system's distributed intelligence means that the lighting control system will carry on working as you've programmed it, even after closing toolbox and disconnecting the laptop.